so nice to have you back. Oh, okay. Let's everybody just calm down. We pick up a couple weeks after the season finale of season one. Mitch has just passed away about seven weeks ago, and Zoe has been living with her mother and has not gone to work since the day he passed away. And she also has not heard a heart song since the day the music died. This season is about how we carry on, how we move forward. You know, the grieving process doesn't end when somebody dies. I think it, it in, in Zoe's case and uh, the Clark's family's case, the grieving process started when Mitch was diagnosed, continued um, through the day he eventually passed away. And now grief, grieving has taken a new form, which is how do we live without someone we love, a la how do, we, how do I live without you from uh, season one. And so you see Zoe, uh, almost every episode basically trying um, a new way to process and or ignore or escape her grief. I hear people's inner thoughts. They sing them to me. This might be totally crazy, but those big musical numbers might actually be helping me. I'm very proud of you. Maggie spent 40 years being a part of an entity called Mitch Maggie, you know? And um, mm -hmm. so she's trying to figure out how to stand there on her own and who it is in the mirror and how she how she puts one foot in front of each other truthfully and and um, and find hope and take some chances that have only to do with her because so much of her last few years have been about just trying to save him or just trying to figure out who she is again is her journey Eyes up and I'll do it again it is your first day back at work so come on girl get up singing so much <laughs> <laughs> I, and, and i'm just singing so much i went from like occasionally singing like spurts of singing last season now i'm just like alex you have a song in this episode and then i said hey can i just get a break can the ladies get like a little bit of a rest it's just like can i just i just want some water maybe some oolong tea a little manuka honey maybe go down and see my ent really quick come back start over but mo is singing so much and it just keeps getting higher and higher not the energy the notes and the keys of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I quite literally, for some odd reason, was recording a song yesterday, and Charlie, who is our vocal um, uh, coordinator, literally said, you just sang a C-sharp. And I was just like, I'm out. I quit. Don't call me anymore. This is my last song of the season. We're not doing any more of this. I said, who do I? I said, I'm getting ready for my Carlotta run when Broadway comes back. So me coming to Broadway as Carlotta. We don't want to be in competition. We don't. You look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I just sang a song with Alex where I was, since we're in the same key, you know, homeboy's got to get up there too. So uh, yeah, there some songs are in the stratosphere. Uh, some songs are right in the pocket. Uh, uh, some songs are more speaky. Uh, more rock and roll, others are pop. Um, fun. There's some just like fun songs. I, I think, not to say that this season is like much lighter, but I think that like their moments of, the, 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 the moments of heart are of course still there as a, as a thread, but um, yeah, we have some fun with these characters because we get to like open it up and we get to see certain pairings like me and Alex or like, you know, Kapil and Jane more, you know what I mean? And it's just like fun to not just, you know, to open it up. That's the luxury you have when, when you get a season two. In this season, you're gonna find Simon helping Zoe in the ways that she helped him, right? So you'll see some reciprocity there. Um, but also like, you'll get to dive into Simon's personal life. You get to dive into what it's like for him at work. Um, and uh, you get to see a, a fuller array of his inner world which I think is really wonderful. Because in the first season, a lot of it was the grief and supporting Zoe through that, right? And this time we're gonna even get to see some joy, which I'm happy about. Which boy should I choose, the handsome one or the more handsome one? Which one is the more handsome one? The world has been upside down for so long. All I want is to feel normal. We can do this.